Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, uh, today, inshallah, we will be reciting Surah Saad, Surah Tuz Zumar, and a good portion of Surah Mu'min. Last night, I recited Surah Yasin, and I really don't want to like pass by Surah Yasin without mentioning anything, as we all know the importance of Surah Yasin. And some of us, we as child, uh, when we were young, we were just told to memorize Surah Yasin. Uh, but the reason why is because it's so important. Right? It's so important because of the amount of the different narrations Nabi Sallallahu spoke about right? regarding the benefits of Surah Yasin. That's why I want to mention some hadith that inshallah all of us can benefit from. And we should go, for those of us who memorize Surah Yasin, we should read it more often. For those of us who didn't memorize Surah Yasin, we should have intention. Right? This, we have these last 10 days that we can utilize our time with. And Surah Yasin should definitely be in our bucket list to memorize. Um, in the hadith of Jundub an, some narrations regarding Surah Yasin. It is narrated that whoever recites that at night time, seeking Allah's pleasure, seeking Allah's pleasure is literally you're sitting down and you're reading it because you believe that Allah Ta'ala will reward you for re reciting this beautiful surah. Right? It's, seeking Allah's pleasure means you're not doing it for anything else. You're not doing it because you're bored. You're not doing it because it's a nice rhythm. You're doing it because you love Allah. You're doing it because you know this is Surah Yasin that Allah Ta'ala has revealed to our beloved Prophet So when you recite it seeking Allah's pleasure, then the hadith continues that he will be forgiven. This is recorded by Ibn Hibban and Ibn Sunni. It is Abdullah ibn Zubayr radiallahu anhu narrates that whoever recites Surah Yasin for any specific need, then it shall be fulfilled. Right? You have a problem, right? Uh, you're, you're sick or you have a financial issue. Or you, you have a problem with your body. Your body is not functioning properly. So many problems all of us are going through. We say Surah Yasin, our beloved Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling us that if you have any specific need for it, we say this Surah, we say this beloved Surah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and inshallah, thum, inshallah Allah Ta'ala will fulfill our needs. So as we can see the importance of Surah Yasin, is, uh, uh, it's a Makki Surah as well. It's, uh, it's not that many ayat uh, to memorize, to be honest, it's not even that much. And it's amazing. One paragraph that I want to mention, right? Uh, we don't have that much time, but I want to mention this part because it's an amazing part in Surah Yasin. Allah Ta'ala will say, فَالْيَوْمَ لَا تُظْلَمُ And today is the day, which day? The day of judgment. لَا تُظْلَمُ نَفْسٌ A soul will not be wronged shay'an in any way. In today's time, Someone he killed, uh, uh, he murdered someone. He murdered, let's say five people. He goes to jail for a lifetime. Is still is that still fair? That's not fair. Even if this world in this dunya we live as as much as justice they want to put, it will never ever ever be equally just, right? Justice equal to how just Allah Taala is, because only a person, right, that can actually show proper. Justice is on the Day of Judgment. And who is that? Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala says, فَالْيَوْمَ لَا تُظْلَمُ On the Day of Judgment, every single soul shall be taken into accountability. Exactly of how much sin he did, Allah Ta'ala will punish him. Exactly of how much good he did, Allah Ta'ala will reward him. And Allah Ta'ala is a Rahman. Probably because of his mercy, he'll give more reward. But a person will never ever have the audacity to tell Allah that Ya Allah, you were you you were zulum, you were zalim to me, that you oppressed me when I will Billah. So Allah Ta'ala says, La tudlamu nafsun shay'a. A soul shall not be wronged in any way. Wala tujzon and you will not be compensated. Illa ma kuntum ta'amalun. Except whatever you guys did. The amal, the actions that you and I did, the choices that you and I made, the lies that we had the ability to divert our, our self away from. We had a choice not to lie. We had a choice not to gossip. We had a choice not to get ourselves involved in interest. We had a choice of not uh, backbiting. We had a choice of not listening to music. We had a choice of not listening or watching movies. All of these are choices that we have and we can do the right or wrong. Allah Ta'ala says, Today, illa, the only person who will be compensated is because of what they did. Bima kuntum ta'amani. And Allah Ta'ala says, Inna ashab al-jannah. The people of Jannah, those people, they made the right choices. Allah Ta'ala says, today, right? Some people, they don't want to believe in this day. Some people, they want to enjoy and forget about this day. They want to completely forget about this day because in their mind, they're like, let's just enjoy. Let's just relax. 
Let's just chill in this world. When that time comes, don't worry. It's not going to be a big deal. Or it's never going to come. It's, what does shaitan say? Uh, shaitan makes a person think. It's never going to come. So Allah Ta'ala, for those people of Jannah, for those people who struggled, for those people who constantly were thinking about doing the wrong, but they did the right because they had sabr, they had patience. They're like, Ya Allah, I know you are watching and I'm doing this right thing. I could have made $5,000 profit by cheating, but I didn't, Ya Allah, because I love you and our Prophet ﷺ never taught us this. So these people are waiting for the judgment day. These people are constantly waiting for judgment day because they know the struggles they've been through. They could have made the wrong choices, but they made the right choice. They're saying, Inas, those people are people of Jannah now. Today, the day when they're in Jannah, they are happy, they are smiling, they are having fun because they know obviously through the mercy of Allah they enter Jannah no matter how many good deeds that we do but they know that you know life was a struggle in this world and Allah Ta'ala finally compensated them because of what they did and these people will be relaxing for them in it right in the shade that they will be sitting in on it so they will be reclining on a chair or on a cushion or on a sofa on a nice shade and it, uh, and in this shade right while they are reclining on the sofa they will have any kind of fruit they want whatever fruits right or any type of food they are thinking in their mind Allah Ta'ala will give it to them and Allah Ta'ala say you guys deserve this here here you go you're thinking about pomegranate here you go oh you're just thinking about watermelons here you go here you go Whatever they want, whatever they think about, Allah Ta'ala says, here you go. Salamun qawlam mir rabbir rahim. This is peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This will be a statement from Allah Himself. Allah Himself will say, Assalamu alaikum my slave. You finally deserve what you deserve. Come in this Jannah. All of these people, they will be compensated according to how much? good deeds that they did and those people right who did not make the right choices Allah Ta'ala will say separate yourselves I know who are the good people and who are those people who were uh, bad who wronged themselves separate yourself you can't hide I know exactly who made the right choices and who made the wrong choices Surah to Saad very difficult Surah Ayah are very concise Right? Uh, I are very small. Allah Ta'ala speaks about the different prophets. Right? So, so Allah Ta'ala speaks about Dawood Alayhi Salaam. Allah Ta'ala speaks about uh, Sulaiman Alayhi Salaam. Allah Ta'ala speaks about uh, more prophets. And it's not that many ayah, but the ayah are still a lot. It's 88 ayah. Allah Ta'ala starts off the surah and he says, Wal Qur'an is dhikr. I saw Right? Wal Qur'an. I swear by the Qur'an, the dhikr. Right? The possessor of reminder. That the book of Allah Ta'ala the more, you re the more you read it and you try to understand it, you realize how much reminder is it for a believer. How much it reminds a person. Subhanallah. Wal Qur'an is the The more you read it and try to understand it, then you realize this Qur'an is very beneficial. This Qur'an really helps me a lot in my life. Psychologically, spiritually. Every time I get sad, I read the book of Allah. It makes me feel good. Because wallahi, Allah Ta'ala is saying, لِمَا فِي الصُّدُودِ That the book of Allah is a cure. Watch next time, whenever you are sad, right? Don't try to make yourself happy happy through some entertainment in this world. Read the book of Allah and I can say, Wallah, you will start tearing up. Because this sort of this is the book of Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala says in the same surah that Wama khalaqna samawati wal arda wama. I skipped some ayah I wanted to mention, but we don't have time. Allah Ta'ala says we did not create the skies and the earth without a purpose. Allah Ta'ala said He created the skies for a purpose. He created the earth as a, for, for a purpose. If they have a purpose, then we also have a purpose. But those people who disbelieve, they don't know. They don't know that the skies and the earth have... They know that the skies and the earth have a purpose, but they don't know about themselves. Are they that foolish? Allah Ta'ala is making a, a, a joke out of them. You guys know that there's a sky here, there's an earth here, and they have a purpose. Right? But what happened to your life? You disbelievers don't assume, you, you disbelievers don't know what's right and what's wrong. And Allah Ta'ala says, don't you guys know about this Quran that I sent to my beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? This is a, that this is a book, Kitabun Anzalnahu Ilayka, that I have revealed this book to you. Mubarakun liyadabbaru ayati. 
This book of Allah Ta'ala, I didn't just reveal to you just so you can recite it, but you can also contemplate. You have any questions you don't want to accept? Then think about it. Contemplate. Delve inside the book of Allah Ta'ala. Ask any, any difficult questions that you have. Ask. You'll get your answers. And the more you think and the more you contemplate over the book of Allah Ta'ala, you realize that it's changing you. The Quran, the message is changing you. You are not changing the Quran in any way. Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyadabbaru ayati so that they may contemplate regarding the book of Allah. Waliyatadakaru and they may think, ponder Ulul Albab for people who are intelligent. People who sit down sometimes in their day and just just literally like meditating and think about the book of Allah. Think about every single ayah, you will understand the Surah to Saad. Uh, you will understand that the Quran, well Quran is a book that is constantly trying to remind you 